Welcome back guys to Rikitik DevOps. I have another tutorial here which is about signing the image. So the problem nowadays is that uh, big companies select OpenShift because it's air gap, fully secured, right? But the problem is if your container images is not signed, you can still put it inside the the OpenShift cluster or Kubernetes. So that's a big problem, right? And nowadays, um, even just the the equivalent in Red Hat is, is called the Trusted Artifact Signer. And it's not easy to test it because you need big resources. Um, and this one I'm just testing on CRC. And my CRC is uh, version uh, it's just version 2.5.1 and I can install it in, on, on Trusted Artifact Signer but of course I can install it in a fully uh, full-blown uh, open ship I will have that on another topic and also my trusted here uh, trust tr uh, issuers is uh, is get love i will have also github action but that will be on another uh topic but this time is uh focus on on the trusted artifact signer on crc so that you can have low resources and also um get lab get lab was actually not mentioned in trusted artifact signer but and here's the trick but i will also have github actions uh, if you use the issuers of artifact signer, so imagine you need you need 20 uh, CPU and, and 20 gig of RAM. And, you know, uh, although OpenShift is secured, big company can pay that. But if if, if the license is, is, is getting bigger because the resource is getting bigger, you need to pay less. And so what's, what's the point of uh, migrating from middleware web sphere to OpenShift, right? And, and Kubernetes is, 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 is not fully secured by, by default. But actually, Kubernetes have tools, Kubens, Palco, AppArmor, Network Policy, to secure it. But you need uh, an expert to do that, right? So that's why big companies use this uh, OpenShift. And there's a trick on this one, on, on installing the the artifact signer especially on GitLab, right this is actually uh, just a preview the full instruction is uh, is a private one I will give it to you if you give me at least a five dollars uh, you can see my PayPal there it's just five dollars US dollar and on you put your note you put your email and then I will give you the the link of the the, the pool one and it's easy to to install uh it's just on crc right you can even do this one on uh, on a uh, on a bm but uh, and then i will tell you what will be the memory and and of crc because it's tricky right the crc is protected by OpenShift that you cannot use this in production the trusted artifact signer you only need the secure sign but the problem is, yeah, it's protected. You will not be able to install it unless you have plenty uh, big resources. And there's a trick on that one to install the city log, the Pulsio, the Trillions, which is, you know, database, server, and, and signer. And also about, uh, I, have, I have so many topics about GitLab Runner, runner right? But those are uh, yeah i i also have group this is group runner so yeah and also there's so many um i will have additional for yeah additional instruction videos for the for the real open ship um also for kubernetes if you want just the kubernetes you're just in kubernetes and also uh just just converting the the pulsio and record to OpenShift or even to just Kubernetes. Um, when you convert the open source, there's a problem there. It's running root. 
<laughs> the city log is running root. You have to convert that, and there's a trick on that one. And also, we are five, min five minutes now. Just creating the Docker file is hard, the, the cosine. And there is a trick that on on running it in uh running it in uh in CRC. And I will I will give you that. Once you have this, you will your resume will be better because you have uh you have one of the DevSecOps in in uh, Kubernetes or OpenShift. So without further ado, let me just, so this is just a preview, right? So yeah, nothing in this world is free nowadays. So, and it's just a $5 a donation. Um, so let's, so this one is the, this, the pipeline, right? So this, uh, this one, uh, if you check this one, I was testing it on, not that one. Browse files, right? So I was testing on BC box. I was I have a BC box here, uh, right? I have BC box that I signed and verify. So if we rerun this one, of course it will it will it will it will just sign again, right? It will be. Uh, 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 the pipeline will be ac accepted, right? And then we will see. I will show you how to to run this updated GitLab runner. For last year, it didn't run with with CRC. This this GitLab runner now is running back. But if you use the, of course, the regular uh, OpenShift, then it will run. But with CRC, last year it is not running. So you you will see the uh, the fastest way to see the logs. Yeah, it's it's working, right? So yeah, it's working. Right, it it sign it, and and uh, it sign and then verify. So it, this this these are the output, right? I put the HTTP proxy, not to go to the internet, so that. You know the the Sig store and, and the Pulse and Record they have a they have a uh, services public, but of course in a in a air gap uh, security you will not be able to access that. It's they will, your network team will not allow that to to open it. So you really have to create the services for that, which is as I said again, is the artifact signer. So another demonstrate here to conclude this 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 uh, preview. Um, as I said again, if you want to see the full blown uh, version of on CRC GitLab and 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 the runner, uh, please donate on Rikitik DevOps and I will give it to you. Please on the notes put your email, uh, not, not not incorrectly. So be sure to copy and paste. Not not type it because you might mistake the the email. If I send it the email, it, it's uh, uh, email doesn't exist. So sorry. Um, so so this Vietnami uh, engine X is never been signed, right? So let's block the signing. It's just let's just verify, right? So let's let's run it. Uh, you know what? Let's remove the the debug. And let's see the the runner so that we have a quick uh, logs rather than wait for the the the, the OpenShift um, logs will be faster here than 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 this one. <laughs> yeah. So again, um, yeah, it's just five dollars. You uh, donate to Rikitik Devops, and then you will have this on your resume and how to test it in in just CRC. And later on, it will be on real OpenShift, and also in, it's, it's in the cloud. It's uh, and also I will have the conversion of of uh, Pulse Core with a converted uh, non root, so that you can run in OpenShift and Kubernetes. And uh, yeah, this one will fail, right? Because it's it's only there's no signing. Yeah, see. 
and if we take a look at here it's error right so there's because it's it's never been signed um, yeah again so there will be topic on on this one CRC so that you can test it yourself with the small resources and then another one is in OpenShift but those were will be on another uh, donation it's like five dollars each what, what is five dollars if you can get a good job right um, and then also the policy conversion uh, I will have so there will be uh, three separate uh, instruction on that, that if you want to know how to convert the Polsio and record yourself with my help okay so thank you guys for for uh, for watching this uh, so sorry but the five dollars is what is five dollars nowadays right so again Please donate on the PayPal Rikitik DevOps so that you will see the full blown uh, uh, tutorial. Even just creating the the Docker file on this cosine is tricky. It's hard. So you can try, but later up if you fail, you know where to where to find me, right? I'm on YouTube, and uh, yeah. Ciao.